so we're back again with now another NBA 2K18 My Team gameplay. And with them being the playoffs right now, 2K decided to update the throwback packs and make them throwback playoff moment packs, which is why we got this new Diamond Carmelo Anthony. So a lot of people have been really keen for 2K to release this card, and finally it's here. It's a 98 overall. 400 cap at the moment too. First of all, I really like the card art. He's six foot eight, 99 on offense, 97 on defense. And he's got a 95 driving layup. You can see the post scoring is pretty good with the 94 post fade, 97 open shot mid range, with then a 97 open shot three, 93 free throw. Really good ball control for a small forward, being 95. Not the best passing, but that's okay. And the rebounding's okay as well. But I'm pretty happy that the defense on this card is actually good because he does have 90 lateral quickness, 78 block, 85 steal, like 82 on-ball defense. It's not the best defense, but it's usable. And then he has 90 driving dunk, 80 contact dunk with also 97 speed, which is absolutely huge. 90 speed with ball, 97 vertical, 88 strength, 98 stamina. I'm so excited to use this card. And the driving dunk and flashy dunk tendencies are both at 100, so he will jam it quite often. The system proficiencies are sort of weird, but I run balanced and that's at 99. And then he comes with seven Hall of Fame badges as well. And these ones are really good, including catch and shoot, Tyler scorer, difficult shots, limitless range, which is my favorite, deep range dead eye, mid range dead eye, and corner specialist. So it's pretty much all of the shooting badges. And then he comes with 17 gold badges, including pickpocket, pick dodger, posterizer, acrobat, put back king, relentless finisher, ankle breaker, and then break starter. So yeah, when you have a look at the team right now, you can see he just fits absolutely perfectly. I will be running him at small forward and off small forward on the bench. And I bought him for about 320K. So I really want to see if he's worth it. So without further ado, let's get into the first game. And we found my first opponent's list. What? I, I don't even know what to say. See, so yeah, I don't really know what to do about this because I really don't have enough time to go into another game. So hopefully we can just get the rage quit instantly as we are kicking into Melo first possession, going down with the right hand and jamming it on T-Mac, I think. You never know though. Sometimes I do go against these teams and they are actually pretty good. His first three and he makes it splash. Okay, Melo just inbounded. I, I feel like I'm going to get a wide open three. It actually didn't let me pass on the first one, which is a little bit annoying. Well, let's check out his drill moves real quick. That's his signature one. It's sort of boring but a little crossover a little step back pull the three straight after and you'll hit it that was actually a really good dribble move play by me and i'm really proud of myself and this time he's dunking it on scowl it's early days but i think i can already tell i want to keep this card on my team he's just been beasting and he's got 10 points and make that 12 let's actually check his free throw release it's pretty quick 98 percent though and that was with not even the best release that's 100 right there one thing i've noticed is he just feels super quick because i've been running larry bird as my backup small forward and he feels so much quicker. I know I really want to get another three here. I, I probably could have pulled that Hall of Fame catch and shoot, but he's great on the mid range, and that's a good showing right there. I don't know what I'm saying. My opponent's Ruby Kevin Garnett is the player that's killing me right now, and this is a wide open three. Melo in the corner. He knew it was in. We get another steal. Melo's in the front court, and let's just go straight inside. Can he finish that one? There's no way. He did anyway. And this time he's inbounding the ball. So hopefully we can get a wide open shot or a wide open drive. Back on it, he finishes. So I'm not complaining when in the first quarter he has. 24 points and I know I'm not going against the best team but I'm keeping it real with you guys this guy's actually a good player Melo's just destroying like I have gone against quite a few of these people before and usually they don't really have the best my team but that's just because they're park players and this guy is probably one of those I've noticed from his drill moves he does seem pretty good he makes that shot there and it's a tied ball game like I feel like he's actually a good opponent so let's try and get another score with Melo this time LeBron came in we take the mid range and he should make that one he will my opponent is just making everything I'm finding this really difficult and let's kick it back up to Magic there and he jumped at that one let's give it out to Chris Webber and he's sort of bringing double teams now I'm not really the biggest fan of that but Melo inside back out to Chris Webber I don't know what to do on this oh yeah I do know what to do kick it to Melo for the green light three I don't know why my team's defense just hasn't been good Hall of Fame catch and shoot right there working your charm okay Melo I need you to make this three in transition Carmelo Anthony from deep hits the three defense versus LeBron is especially what I want and he seems to be pretty good right now he jumped it a little early but it's all good magic versus Alonzo that should be a pretty easy matchup but let's get across there against Michael Cooper who's actually a beastly card and you can see why just there. I'm pretty sure we blocked that midair, except he still jammed it. But I don't know. Melo, I feel like he's going to get a wide open three once again. LeBron doesn't really know what to do on the defensive end. Let's go into the post against two players. He'll still get the end one. 
Just like that. And now I do have my bench on. Let's finish the free throw. He will. Oh yeah, we got a steal too. And Mello just go all the way with a flashy dunk. Why not? Mello will jam it. And he gets his first rebound there too. Can I get his first assist? Or should I just go transition three? Lightly contested. He'll hit it. Dude, I'm loving this card. And yeah, I think you guys can tell that I'm liking him because I'm actually on track to almost get 100 points with him in this game, which would be pretty crazy. I think I've only done that with Wes Unseld and a couple of other players, but he's on 47 right now. And we get another steal there. I see Mello. He's going to have to go in with the left hand, but I think he's confident doing that. Going up, getting free throws, almost the end one. I really want to take another limitless three because the first one I got was actually really nice. Let's take that one. That's a good shot with Melly. He'll make it count. How about another one here? Let's kick it to him. Get a little snatchback move. Back up to Kobe. And I was actually going to try and take my first assist there, but probably not the best one to take right there. And weird animation. That's a good one though because he made it. And I was just able to call quite a lot of timeouts, which gives him a lot more energy, which makes me so much more excited because now he will be able to jam but once again, as going into that third, I did actually notice that he was pretty tired, but going in there, missing that one, that's not really the best start. But let's try and play defense because I really haven't shown too much defense this game. But Melo versus Wally Zerbiak, I think that's how you say his name. And this is nice defense against the Emerald team. Like he'll probably still make that shot. Even though he missed, we don't get the rebound. Kevin Garnett, I said it before, has been the player that's pretty much destroying me right now, which is not the best. But we should get an easy score here. Going up, getting free throws, almost another end one. Oh yeah, we're on another fast break this time. Can I get a snatchback three this time? It's not really the best shot. Lightly contested, which is why he missed. But kicking it back out to him, pump faking that one, and drawing fourth. Um, okay. Okay, Mello. <laughs> he just got a four-point play, and we make it count as well. I was just going to say drawing three free throws straight away, but then I realized it actually looked like it might go in, and he jumped at that one. Don't jump against Mello, because he'll make you pay. This quarter, he's seriously destroying ever since I called those timeouts, and you can see why. A rebound there. Yep, rebound number two to Mello, and I don't know what to do here. Probably kick it to Kobe. Let's get his first assist. Why not? There it is. And I don't know, on the drive this time, and he is getting an N1. I don't even understand this card. I love it. 100%. I can already tell. I'm keeping him. Oh, what a rebound there over Kevin Garnett. That is exact. Okay. And then we just pull the three in transition. Why not? And he's now got his hot ring back. And you know what? Snatch back. Oh, I was so about to take that. But I don't know. I sort of want a better shot. Wally, you can't defend. Carmelo Anthony on the drive, taking the midi. Good shot. I got to say, for my opponent's team, he's actually putting up a really good fight. Like, I was expecting it to be a massive blowout. But it's actually pretty close. And going against LeBron here, just the Sapphire version. Back up to James Harden. Probably could have taken that. But I'll take the drive and take the dunk. Okay, Melo, I see you. Let's try and get another score before the end of the game. Oh, what a good behind the back move. Gives him an easy dunk. He gets his fourth rebound there. This is for point number 80 if he's able to get a three or a drive. And then jam it. <laughs> like, he's seriously meant to be tired. Yet, he's still doing that. And this is for point number 80 right here. Number 81. We're about to get it. I actually got pretty lucky for that to be free throws. But point number 80. There it is. And yeah, you guys just got a sneak peek at the shooting percentage it's crazy let's try and beat kobe's record here i don't know if we can maybe if we get a pump fake there on the drive this time there it is and yeah with 12 seconds to go i really do want to add another score so why not here we go there it is and with 3.2 left why not even try and get another one okay that probably wasn't the best right there but we did end up winning by what 33 points and yeah this is definitely one of the best game plays i've ever done with a player because in 20 minutes he had 85 points Four rebounds, one assist, one steal, and only three turnovers. And look at the shooting percentage, 31 of 46. That's 67%. The thing I liked even more, though, is he shot 63% from three, being 12 of 19, 100% from free throw, and had a 33 plus minus. And most importantly, I did end up destroying the game with this card, and we did get that win. So now I'm just going to play normally in this game, which means I will sub him out, and as I said, play normally. And I already know he's going to be a beast. So yeah, let's get into the second game. And we have found our next opponent let's hope for a little bit of a better team and we got that so hopefully in this normal game we can win the tip which is exactly what i do and as i said just playing normally so let's kick it back up to magic and uh not really the best start almost a turnover straight away um i really don't know what to do he's actually playing pretty nice defense let's get magic on here give it down to chris webber and that's the score i was trying for Melo's actually wide open here let's kick it straight to him hall of fame catch and shoot from deep might even have another wide open one here why not take that 
Another one. Finally, we do get a defensive stop and Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Once again, lightly contested. Doesn't matter. I'm seriously loving this card. And that's an absolute dime from Magic. And Melo gets the free throws. Like 11 points. And you got to remember, this is against a pretty good team as well. Can we make that 14? Okay, finally missed one. But we do get another one. And that's catch and shoot. Melo, he doesn't miss those. And I have just called my bench on. So Melo sort of needs to make a play here if he wants to try and stay on. Let's kick it to him. Definitely not a good pass. But we are actually going to get an easy score underneath. Make that an N1. He's staying on the floor. Get another defensive stop. And 97 speed. Working perfectly. He's got three rebounds in a quarter, which is definitely not too bad. I do have Kobe, but I also have Melo on the drive. He gets another N1. I'm legit trying to take him off the court, but he just wants to stay on. And my bench is actually on right now. Let's get off to a good start with Kobe Bryant on the drive. And after my bench did play very well, we do have the starters back on, which means Melo is on the floor. Key it to Chris Webber. Don't really want to take that one because it was a two. And I only take really threes from deep. And let's go in there. Easy layup to Melo. On the drive this time. Dunking it on Hakeem. And he's wide open for a little midi. He's not missing that one. It's fifth rebound. He's actually rising up for the rebounds, which I do quite like. I really want to take a limitless three, but I don't know if I'm able to this game so far. But we do have a wide open one, and that's a great easy money. He just gets wide open way too much. I seriously don't know why. Hall of Fame difficult shots. I think he has it. He's about to have another wide open three in the corner as well. He doesn't miss one to the corner. Melo from deep. Why not? Let's pull it. Carmelo Anthony misses that one, but back out to him. He's not missing two in a row. I can tell you that. Okay, maybe he is. Maybe he's feeling a little bit tired. Not three in a row. That's right. Yeah, there we go. He just pulled down his sixth rebound as well and I really want to pull that but I'll take the assist this quarter hasn't really been the best for Kareem no for um what's his name Carmelo that's the player I'm doing a gameplay on let's remember that but it improves right now because he gets an easy two points and yeah now my bench is on to run out this game and yeah with two seconds on the clock we did end up winning this game by 45 points which is definitely a big win but Melo definitely had a good game in 12 minutes with 42 points six rebounds three assists one steal only one turnover and shot over 50%. The fourth quarter really wasn't the best. He only shot 33%, but the first half, 7 of 11, is definitely pretty good. So yes, I'm extremely impressed with this card, and to be honest, I'm 100% keeping it. Like right now, I do think he is a little bit better than this Diamond Kevin Durant, and the question is, for around 300k, do I recommend you guys pick up this card? If you were thinking about getting him, I would recommend it, but just remember, he is a part of these throwback playoff moments packs, which means his price is probably only going to go down when they bring out new players. Players. But yes, I do think he is worth about 300k, but I can see him going for about 200k in probably two weeks or so. So yeah, it's up to you guys if you want to be patient at all, but I do recommend him. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed. Also, be sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.